Okay, so I just wanted to talk about a few things as far as staying connected, cell phone, and internet while I'm on the road. Okay, so for cell phone, I'm using Cricut Wireless. Apparently Cricut Wireless uses the AT&T network, so apparently their service coverage is comparable to AT&T. I personally have been satisfied with them. There's only been a few remote spots where I don't have service. Most major cities I have service, and then when I'm out in you know the parks and camping areas, I typically have um, a couple bars at least some sort of service so I have a, a 10 gig plan it's $50 a month unlimited talk and text 10 gigs of data for $50 after I use that 10 gigs of data I still have data unlimited but it's just throttled way back it slows down quite a bit um, so that works out really good now a device that really helps me with my cell phone is a cell phone booster now what I'm using for a cell phone booster I'm using the Wilson sleek 4G cell phone booster. It looks like this. Mine actually is uh, broken slightly. There's two tabs that should come out here to kind of help cradle your phone. Those have since broken off. I was kind of careless and let it slide off the table here. Um, it needs to be powered by a 12 volt source, either this or a USB adapter. And basically the way it works, I'll show you here. Okay, the way this device works is, is you plug this end into a power source. This other wire here is your antenna wire. I have this fed out through the front of the van up onto the roof. We'll show you that. All right, so the antenna is just a magnetized small antenna here. Just snaps on like that. It's a really strong magnet, and that's all you need for it to work. So on the passenger side, I'm just running the wire in through the door and closing the door on it. It seems to work fine. Okay, once you have your antenna mounted outside on the roof of the vehicle, then you basically just plug this end in here. This will power, that will power the unit. And then it's very easy. You just slide your cell phone into the cradle. Now in the instructions, they recommend that while this is in the booster and it's powered up, you do not put your headset near your head. Meaning if you need to make a phone call, put it in speaker mode or use a headset. As this is now emitting more energy and it could be not healthy to have it close to your head so they recommend that so whenever I use it for phone calls I just put it on speakerphone set it down and I'm able to complete my call um, now if I'm using it for something like watching YouTube videos or something I'll usually kind of prop it up like that and I'm able to watch a YouTube video with the boosted signal it also has a USB port so if you only have one outlet to power the booster you still have the option of charging your cell phone while using the booster so that's kind of convenient as well okay another one of the biggest things that's come in handy with this device is it also works for my mobile jetpack internet device so if I'm in an area where I only have a couple bars on my jetpack that will give me a very slow internet uh, connection. Now if I put it in the booster and it brings it up to full bars or close to full bars, I have a much faster, stronger internet connection with my jetpack. So that's come in very handy not only for my cell phone but for my internet jetpack as well. Alright guys, so it's been really nice just to relax here at camp here in Quartzsite, Arizona. Um, now that I've been here, geez, almost a week, I've had some time to decompress and just kind of relax get in the mode of just, you know, doing the bare minimum of what it takes to just get by, go in town, dump trash, fill up on water, just keeping things really simple. It's kind of what I need after working those two jobs. Uh, it was a little excessive with the overtime hours, so it's nice just to have some time to just chill out and relax. All right, guys, so we're heading out here to the local dump. Refuge Transfer Center, they call it. Yeah, that's quick and easy. Just pull up, drop your trash off, and pull out. It's only it's not even like a mile out of town. It's perfect. Basically, you just look for this big cell tower off to the left. That's where you turn. So I'm going to head back into town, fill up my water jugs, and I should be good back at camp for a few more days. So 
this is where I'm getting water here in town at Quartzsite. They've got these uh, dispensers here. One gallon for 25 cents, five gallons for a dollar. So I'll probably do it by the gallon. Uh, it's reverse osmosis filtered water. So uh, that's basically what I'm going to fill up with. I'll probably use it for my shower as well, just because it's convenient, even though I really don't need filtered drinking water for my shower. But yeah, this is kind of how I'm doing it. So we got water and trash right in town. The trash is free. Water is fairly inexpensive for what it is. So yeah, here we go. Alright guys, so the RV pit stop is the place. Get your water, propane, all in one stop. Uh, sewer dump if you need that. So basically get everything that you would need to continue to disperse camp or boondock. Propane, sewer dump, water fill up. Got different types of water, drinking water or just well water. So yeah, it looks like it's an RV park too. You can stay here if you want. <laughs> So it's dinner time. I'm gonna mix up some ground beef, potatoes, mushrooms, onions, and see how that all turns out. What's up, Grand? Food gone. Wow, you cook. Gotta eat. <laughs> yeah, I wish I didn't have to eat it so often. I know, it really is. <laughs> it really is an ongoing thing. Alright guys, so it's going great at camp here. Just wanted to show you the shower bathroom setup. Okay, so this is it here. It's pretty roomy. You can see I have my shower weed sprayer bottle here. The emergency toilet setup. It's the bucket with the seat on it. And I'll show you how that works. So I just use the bag method. It's just a black trash bag. Okay, so when I'm ready to shower, basically pull out all the uh, emergency toilet stuff, have my weed sprayer bottle in here, I pour half of this water out, boil it on the stove, pour that boiling water back into the, the rest of the room temperature half, and it usually ends up being a nice hot shower temperature water. And then I can just get this in here, do my thing, the water just gathers on the bottom and kind of uh, comes out this mesh here. So uh, you're not standing right on the ground, but yet the water doesn't pull up. It drains out while you're showering. So it works out pretty good. There's a place to hang a towel while you're showering, so you have that in here. And uh, yeah, it's working out great. Can't complain. 45 bucks at Walmart. All right, get me out of here. All right, so the bags of waste that I generate from the toilet in here. I collect over here in a bigger bag and this is the big bag of trash along with my kind of household garbage that I generate. I'll collect and go into town every few days and take to the dump. So that's how I get rid of my trash. Living in the desert, camping here basically for free. There's no charge up to 14 days and um, yeah just keeping it simple. So that's how it's been working out. Okay, so overall the experience out here at Quartzsite has been really great. Uh, camping for free on BLM land for up to 14 days, you just can't beat that. The town is close enough in from the areas where you can camp to where you can stock up on supplies. There's markets, trash dump, 
water so you know the way it's all set up it's, it just really works out great great way for if you're new to kind of disperse camping or boondocking dry camping without any hookups or anything this is a great place to kind of get used to it because everything is so convenient uh, with town the crowds you know this time of year is the busiest time of the year with the big tent event coming up this weekend but for me it's kind of a nice break being out on the road and alone it's neat to actually come to a place that's kind of thriving with like-minded people to be able to kind of socialize with and share stories and learn new things so you know when with this gathering that's kind of the focus so uh, it's really been a good experience for me after another week I probably will be ready to move on where I don't know yet I'm kind of hoping that is revealed as I network with people and um, you know learn new things researching a lot of jobs online that I'm gonna try to apply for in different places and just see which one kinda pans out and go from there so that's the idea guys um, I kinda like the feeling for a little bit just not knowing what I'm gonna do where I'm gonna go it's uh, it's a good feeling I've just been kind of on the go for a little while and um, this experience of just living on the road and being able to go with the flow is uh, really kind of setting in it's now it's um, it's happening and this is my life so I'm just kind of adjusting in that sense um, you know trying not to get anxiety um, with the fact that I really am an unemployed right now I don't know where my next uh, dollar is going to come from but I have a good little savings going that I can get by on so I'm just kind of hoping everything works out so that's how it's gone and I will be checking in soon guys appreciate you following along and we'll uh, see you guys soon Peace.